Well, it's time now for part two in our series, Fully Alive. Last week, Donna Kretsch talked about a grave diagnosis she received and the lifestyle changes she made to once again know what it means to live fully alive. This week, Donna talks about stress. Is stress making you a mess? Is stress keeping you up at night? Are you having trouble sleeping or are you just struggling every single day of your life with stressful situations? I'm sure if that's not describing you now, it has in the past, it will in the future, or maybe it is describing exactly who you are every day of your life. Well, I have some great news. That's not God's intention for your life. God wants you to live fully alive. And that means figuring out a way to be able to sleep at night and a way to make sure that stress is not overtaking your entire life. Donna Kretsch is joining us again today, talking more about how God truly has a path to allow us to live fully alive. Last week we heard about your story, Donna, incredible uh, death to life story in mm -hmm. reality. And now you have an opportunity to share everything you've learned so that others have this opportunity as well. Um, a lot of people are having trouble sleeping at night and it can be, stress is a big, Fact. Boy, listen, uh, it almost sounds cliche, but stress is making us a mess. <laughs> stress mm -hmm. is making us a mess, but we don't know it, right? Just like we said last time we talked, folks aren't telling us, and if they're telling us, they're not telling us what to do about it. So one of the first signs that you could be dealing with some hormonal issues is, in fact, the condition of or the quality of sleep. Now, the funny thing about adrenal fatigue, exhaustion, burnout, is that if you're dealing with some adrenal stuff, it will show up in sleep deprivation. But the thing is, sleep deprivation will cause adrenals to be a problem. Mm -hmm. So if we've got stress going on in our lives and therefore it affects our sleep, that can affect our adrenals poorly, which then begin to affect our health and our weight and our wellness and our yada, 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 right? Just mm -hmm. big stuff. So the real thing to remember with stress, and, and the hormone is, is cortisol, okay? When stress rises, in our body. Now, it could rise due to a food, we'll talk about that in another segment, but it certainly could rise because of emotional or mental situations. So when stress rises, the body goes into the state of raising the cortisol level. So stress goes up, cortisol goes up. But here's the thing, which used to be a good thing, right? Um, it was intended by God, God for it to be a, for good, a good thing. Yeah, you know, back in the day when the caveman is running away from the bear to save his life, well, listen, his adrenals are pumping and cortisol is pumping so he can get away from the bear. And when he got away from the bear, he was able to go, ah, now, we now, don't ever get away the from the bear. Now the bear is life. Yes, yeah. we never get away from the bear now. So stress is going up, cortisol is going up. It hits a point where it can't produce anymore. The body just can't do it because it wasn't intended to, right? So then what happens for ladies is cortisol then comes down figuratively and steals from progesterone levels. So now in order to keep cortisol pumping, progesterone is going down, which means estrogen is now dominant. It's supposed to be here. Men don't get off easy. It doesn't steal from their progesterone, but it steals from their testosterone. So now hormones just are whacked and you feel lousy. Okay, that, that's long and short what happens. Now you can't sleep. So you had stress that made you not be able to sleep. Now you've got cortisol being affected, adrenals being affected. So now you can't sleep because adrenals are affected. I mean, it, it, it all just comes down to that imbalance that nobody's talking about. And stress is the bottom line demon and cortisol is the culprit that's causing all the problems. So Pastor Randy Davis, Pastor Doug Boak was two well-known pastors in, in this community have reasons to be stressed. Yeah. When you are a pastor of a large church, it comes along with it. Uh, if you're a pastor of a small church, you get stressed. Yeah. It's yeah. there. But both of these gentlemen have experienced changes by uh, realizing there's a deeper reason. Um, these two pastors have, have, have given us the honor of helping them take their lives back. And you're right. Jennifer, it's crazy stress when you're leading any kind of a church, when you're a leader, period. And people don't understand the stress that's involved there. Uh, Randy will tell you that not only did he lose 80 pounds, but which is what, well, yeah, he which looks, is what everybody yeah, sees. I, well, every right? time I see him, I'm right? just like, wow. But wow. he will tell you that he really had some, some foggy brain issues. He had some issues with trying to remember what was supposed to happen next and, and somebody's name or a situation or where he left something. And his biggest benefit was a clarity of mind. Well, that is a direct result of balancing out that cortisol hormone level. And he said, I just don't get, he goes, I don't get wrecked like I did 
you know, making a decision, even a huge one, is very easy for me. Doug is hilarious. Doug, Doug says he doesn't have his, he goes, monthly moods. He goes, I don't have my male monthly moods anymore. He said I, I would have irritability or moodiness, that now I'm just good, I'm just calm. How many of us could be blessed by that? He's calm without having to have over-the-counter prescription oh, drugs. No prescriptions. And that's, no prescriptions. That's a neat, uh, a we, neat we, point. We both we both have a secret love for Relora, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, Relora is in fact a product, a natural product that you can take. Uh, it is referred to as a natural Prozac, but there's it's all natural. There's no addictive qualities of any kind, and Relora can help with cortisol levels being brought to a healthy place so that your body can start to be in that that balanced place of homeostasis which is where God intended it to be and that's when it can function optimally. Now are there any things that people can do? Obviously you you can direct people to a program that can help them go through all of this but on the starting point let's say the cortisol levels are just a big issue is there anything they can do starting point at home or, or just to get going to, to calm things down? So absolutely can... absolutely uh, in the evening, an hour before you sleep, no computer, no television. That LED light um, is highly stimulative, okay? Uh, so that's one. Now we all hear yoga, right? And sometimes we turn up our nose. I did, because remember I said I was the exercise addict. And listen, I'm not anti-exercise now, I love it, I love it. I just have learned there are certain types of exercises that if you are in hormone imbalance, if stress is an issue and cortisol is an issue, there are exercises that will make you worse. And those were the exercises I was doing mm -hmm. because I loved them, right? Mm -hmm. They'll make you worse. So you have to have the right kind of hormone correcting exercise in order, in order so that needs to be done. Yoga is a good one. And, and again, not just to calm your mind, although yoga will do that, but to strengthen and stretch the muscles and, and to restore a youthful appearance in a way that doesn't raise cortisol levels. Mm. Certainly, Relora mm. is something that can be done uh, clearing the mind, letting yourself, whether it's the morning ritual, which is mine, or the evening ritual, which is a shorter version of mine, and that's just to lay things at the throne of God to say, I know you've put me here to do this thing, and I know your promises are true, so I know you're gonna deliver on them. And I trust you for that, because there's a big difference between having faith in God and trusting God, right? Mm -hmm. And when we lay those things at his throne and we let them go, there's just a sense of calm that comes over you. And uh, we, have, we have one member who had, not, had, had awakened every night for 20 years for two and a half and three hours a night. And we got these hormones into balance, and she lost something like 22 pounds in 30 days, which is like a given. That's not even the, the big That's thing. That's a great bonus. The big thing yeah. is she sleeps through the night every single night. Her husband wakes up in the morning and literally grabs her hand and checks her pulse because he was afraid for the first few weeks, like something was wrong with her. So cortisol can be corrected, and then you can begin to feel fantastic. Weight literally just begins to fall off because it's the hormone imbalance that's throwing everything out of kilter. And with Randy and with Doug, mental clarity is there. Decisions can be made easier. The stress levels that you're dealing with don't get to you anymore. And that's a pretty big bonus. That, that is the way God has intended us to live, fully alive. We can't get out of the stress of our lives. We're never gonna be able to walk away from it completely, but God has a plan so that we can walk through it. Of course, we wanna walk through it with him, but he has incredible ways to naturally show us how to get to those places. Well, we have more of Donna's story and more about things like stress and cortisol and all of that coming up in the weeks to come. Um, but if you want more information, if you wanna connect with Donna, you can contact her assistant, Alicia at DonnaCrutch.com. That's E-L-I-S-H-A at D-O-N-N-A-K-R-E-C-H dot com. You can also find Donna at 709 North Cable Road, Lima, Ohio 45805. You can call 419-224-8446 or go online, 2030fasttrack.com.